Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Monster Super League. It's your boy Odin, and today we're back for some more summons. Uh, it's definitely been a while since I've done uh, some uh, summon videos, and uh, I've been just kind of laying back and uh, playing in the background. Uh, Monster Super League for me lately has just been more of like a break. Um, I'm kind of just, you know, doing other things. I've been playing Diablo Immortal a lot. Um, I finally reached like endgame in Diablo Immortal. I've done like a lot of good progress in that game. And so, yeah, I've just kind of been taking a step back from Monster Super League, mainly because there's really not much going on. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are having fun with the anniversary events. Uh, personally, for me, I didn't feel like it was like a lot that was different from the other years or something that was like, oh, my God, wow, this is so good. I can't wait to come back and play. Uh, so I kind of just kind of skipped out the last couple of months. Um, but I have been playing in the background, so I do have quite a bit of eggs to open up with you guys. We have the uh, heroic golden egg from the uh, special um, uh, pre-registration missions. Uh, I got three heroic uh, festival eggs to open up from the last heroes festival. I got some regular heroic eggs, some gleam eggs. So we're going to go ahead and basically open up all of these here. Um, and uh, I feel like since um, it is essentially Heroes Fest and it is Double Crystal uh, event still going on, I figured I was may as well just go ahead and empty out all of my gems. Um, like I said, I've been kind of on a break, so I haven't really like uh, spent uh, too much time farming or getting astrogens for that matter. So pretty much everything that I have has just been from like logging in, just doing the daily thing. And not really, I haven't really purchased anything. Uh, so essentially it's the same uh, as usual. Uh, same summons. Um, of course, I'm, I don't know if you guys saw, there is a couple of new astromons that were added. Um, I definitely haven't uh, been putting in too much time and effort into the um, Astro Guide, uh, especially with the new uh, continent. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'll probably get around to it sometime here in the next couple of weeks. Um, but anyways, uh, so far the luck has been pretty trash. So I definitely don't feel like I've missed out on anything. Um, I think it's uh, 9,000 eggs to get a guaranteed uh, egg. Um, looks like we are finally going to get the um, Nat 5 here. So let's go ahead and skip. Um, but yeah, guys, I uh, hope you guys have all been doing really well. Uh, let me know if you've pulled anything good in the next, last couple of months. Uh, of course, you know, I love to see in the comment section down below, like, you know, what you guys uh, pull every month. Um, I definitely, like I said, I've been MIA, but I'm still playing like pretty on a, on a pretty decent basis. I'm not going to say like, you know, every single day, but at least uh, enough to um, make the, some certain amount of gems a week and in a, in a month pretty much so. Uh, but yeah, everything else has been pretty chill. My life has been pretty busy. Um, so that's mainly the reason why I haven't kind of like absent from doing too many videos. Plus, I feel like I've done, you know, a guide on everything. There's a guide on Apophis. There's a guide on the Colossus. There's a guides on Titans, uh, you know, and I feel like there's enough content in my channel. The majority of folks that, you know, will usually come in and find a guide or watch something like that. You guys can just go to the guide videos. Um, and you know look that up you, you know you guys can also go to the uh, video section um, on my channel uh, and just take a look at the playlist um, so you guys can definitely see some of there all right so here's some of the, the new astromons that were added in the last couple of months if you guys have been watching Elio's videos he covers pretty much all of them so you know I didn't feel like there was a need for me to get in and you know make another additional review because he does a pretty good reviews um, for these mons so you know why create content twice you know i really want you guys to go ahead and just you know watch the videos for uh from elio for some of the um you know astromon reviews and then i'm just basically pushing out some guides and things like that so um but yeah everything else has been pretty good um in my life uh it's been a nice little break for the last couple of uh weeks like i said i haven't really been playing msl so it is kind of nice to at least come back and play here for a little bit um and uh yeah i'm gonna see what, what we end up pulling from uh, all those eggs that we have in store uh, it's definitely been quite a few uh, weeks of just sitting on there I, I haven't really been like oh my god I gotta open up those eggs mainly because like my box is completely full my Oster guide is pretty much almost complete um, and plus you know you come back and you get this type of like pulls it doesn't really make you want to continue let's go ahead and take a break here let's clear up a little bit of the box and we'll open up some of those light and dark eggs Hopefully they'll give us better luck than than what we <laughs> we're getting right now. So uh, yeah. Um. Also, guys, there is a rebirth event going on, of course. So make sure you guys do those uh, rebirths. Get yourself some uh, astro gems. Um. And uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, you guys know what I do, which is essentially just keep on feeding my nat force here, and uh, you know, get gems back that way as well. So all right, let's go ahead and start with uh, the 
looks like I, uh, I thought I had four, but I'm like, oh, this is right. One goes to the mailbox. Let's go ahead and start up with these three heroic secret eggs and we'll see what we end up getting. No need to uh, sit here and draw suspense. I'm just going to do multi. All right, so nothing good as usual. Uh, Wukong is pretty much useless. Um, Fire, um, what's his name? Enkidu, same thing. And Wood Nightmare. Wood Nightmare is one of the oldest Astromons in the game. And unfortunately, they didn't change her skills uh, to make her any, any more usable. So, wow, all three Gleam Eggs gave me water ones. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the, these nine legendary secret eggs, see what we end up getting. And maybe one five star, nope, all four stars, which like I said, usually what I do is I come in here and uh, just keep on feeding them in and get yourself some gems back. Of course, releasing them does give you guys quite a bit of gems as well, but when it's guaranteed like this to get at least, uh, you know, 300, uh, I usually go for the, the 300 just to, you know, get that out of the way. Plus. You know, once you do, I think it's like uh, 50, mo 50 rebirths, you end up getting like an extra 200 gems as well. Um, but I definitely highly recommend you guys to release your your Astromon versus just um, opening them up the way that I am now and rebirthing them. But let's see what we end up getting here for the Heroes Festival eggs that I've been saving up. Um, like I said, I did participate in some festivals. Uh, so, oh, we ended up getting a Wood Belial. Sweet. So that is new for me. I actually did want to pull one of her uh, so that I could use her against Apophis, um, against the wood one. Uh, so yeah, that's actually a win for me, new Astromon. All right, and let's see what does the heroic golden egg have. Hopefully it's something good. Um, pretty much, there's no light and dark that I, I'm like, oh my god, I want that or I gotta have it. Um, wow, and Dark Persephone, uh, her primo festival was just here. Uh, so if you guys pulled one of her uh, from the Primo Festival, I think you only need uh, 16,000 or 18,000 gems to pick up a light or dark. Uh, that is uh, Amon I already have. I have plenty copies of the dark one. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think that... Uh, I didn't. Well, one, I didn't think I was going to get a light in the dark. That was actually for free from the um, registration event that we had. Um, but, uh, you know... It's, it's it's a free dark and dark mon so i don't mind it uh, let's go ahead and sit, uh, store some of these gleams make some room in here and uh let's go ahead and pick up uh let's just go ahead and continue doing some summons and we'll empty out and then hopefully we'll pick up the eggs here at the end also i, I you know i haven't really spent on anything uh, i haven't bought anything nor do i want to the uh, rewards from the perks is honestly ridiculous uh you you can't really tell how much but like sixty three thousand points that's like 700 us dollars um to get to 160,000, yeah it's like over a grand uh this this to me is a, a bit of a ripoff <laughs> if, if i'm really being quite honest there uh but yeah so let's go ahead and continue with our summons um before i get sidetracked and next thing you know i'm sitting here for the next 10 minutes talking to you guys about stuff that i don't really care uh, four. So, okay, looks like we end up getting our second Nat 5, and it's a Zubeji, of course. I, I personally feel like it's time for them to get rid of the normal Astromon from the Heroes Festival pool. Um, it really dilutes the amount of Astromons that you can pull, um, and it does no good uh, when it comes to uh, game progress because, I mean, you know, the majority of folks are hunting either a Wood Merlin, a Fire Belial or a water bast, you know, the mons that actually help you out in titans and in progress, like Apophis and things like that. So by having those extra regular pool of nat fives, which you can pull at any point in time from the other events, like, you know, the um, uh, regular clan festival or the primo festival, it just, it really does not not help the player out whatsoever. So uh, in my opinion, it's time that, um, you know, uh, Smart Study gets rid of those mons from the regular pool. It really, with the amount of Astromon that are currently in the game, um, it really does make it very, very difficult to uh, hunt down those Astromon. That can be very beneficial to help some of those uh, newer players and mid-game players to end-game players. So I uh, definitely think it's time to, uh, you know, cut down the list of Astromon there. But anyways, continuing on with my rent, uh, look, uh, it looks like we have the last two multis here if we don't get anything. Uh, that's fine. I'll probably do a couple more multis offline, like once I empty out the box. Uh, but uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this quick little video. I just wanted to hop on here and do the uh, summons for this month. Uh, just because, you know, it is double crystal rates. 
Uh, so I figured I might as well and save my um, and just do a video basically on it. So, all right. So it looks like we did get a water on my OG and uh, we end up getting all three eggs, which is really good. We have quite a bit of uh, eggs to open and mods to get rid of. Um, also, guys, I, I know that there was a free uh, Astromon selection card for the fire one last week. Um, if you've been logging in every day, every seven days, you basically get a, a, a card selector. Uh, for the fire one, you know, you could have picked the fire shinobi. Fire shinobi is pretty good. Uh, I mean, I feel like most of you guys have already, you know, collected your reward at this point. Uh, so I would just generally say pick out the monster that benefits you the most. Uh, for most newer players, if you still have your fire card, um, it's going to be either shinobi or the uh, fire John Wuchi. Um, you know, some argument can be made there for a couple of other Astromon, but in general, those two are going to be your, your go-to mons for uh, their fire type. Um, everybody else aside from that is not really a good option um, for, for a select card selector. Um, for the water one, it really doesn't matter. There's really no water Astromon that says, oh my god, it's amazing. Maybe like you know, the water Gilgamesh. Uh, if you he's basically the same as uh, the wood Garuda very good, but you do need to basically skill book him uh, To level six in order to take advantage of the weekend and the courageous strike. So Unfortunately out of the water ones. There's really not that many good selections. You're either picking the water Indra or the uh, Like I said the water um, Gilgamesh. So uh, there, there's definitely like a couple other mods that could be useful in like PvP But the majority of guys here you can pull, pick them up from uh, any any place um, if you're looking for an Apophis mon, the uh, Glinda is still a very good option for Apophis. So um, I'll let you guys make that uh, decision and, and cho choose out, you know, whatever Astromon based on what your box currently holds. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the th remaining three heroic festival eggs. Um, and then we'll open up uh, some of those regular eggs, see if we get anything spicy out of that. Oh, look, a fire bast and another water or wood belial. So that's actually pretty good. Um, I don't mind having two copies of her. Um, I do have a fire one. The fire one's okay. Like I said, it's really good for uh, Titans. Uh, so definitely there. Uh, you know, here I am. I, I got to say, I've only ever pulled four water bass. Um, but it is what it is. All right, let's go ahead and open up these light and dark eggs. See if we get any luck out of these. Who knows? I don't know if that means we're getting a nat 5 or not. But we'll see. Oh, we are getting a nat 5. Light Shaharasad. Okay. I mean, I, that that would be my second Light Shaharazad, so, you know, it is what it is. Nothing uh, a fancy or amazing, in t for me at least. All right, so nothing out of this one. Uh, we got a Dark Yaksha and a Light Tiger. Uh, pretty much just Rebirth fodder food. And uh, nothing on this one, too. I mean, I got to say, though, we did get pretty lucky. We ended up getting a Dark Persephone from the uh, Event Egg, and we did get a Light Shaharazad from these eggs, the... the Scam eggs, I think, is what uh, Elo calls them. <laughs> uh, scam because you know you you don't you're the rate of pulling a nat five out of those is actually stupid low. All right, and let's see what we get from these here. Nothing out of this one. We'll check out the rates out of the normal eggs. Um, you know, if you're a returning player and you haven't played the game for a very long time, I think you also end up getting like a couple other perks, like a card selector. Uh, aside from the one that you know we we are getting now for the rewards. Um, but aside from that, there's really not much um, that's like new for new players. I know there's just like a ton of new login rewards, uh, completion rewards, story rewards, and all that kind of thing. But none of that really, in my opinion, is helpful or exciting for a new player. Uh, if anything, I would say that if you're a new player or just starting now, you, you got a long way to go to catch up to uh, the, the rest of the community, which is, in my opinion, a bit of a shame. Um, like there's issues with the uh, level grind, like it shouldn't, you know, the amount of runs you have to do to get to like, you know, level 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, it's honestly insane. But I will say like Mon Super League is like a game that's made for the long run, not uh, for like, you know, a beginner game. Oh, it looks like we're getting a nat 5 finally. So basically every 100 eggs you get a nat 5 and it's a water Garuda. So it'll be fodder for another Rebirth uh, Festival whenever one does come out. Let's go ahead and open up the last eight. I doubt oh, I just did one. I did a single one. No. Uh, but yeah, guys, I mean, I've been doing pretty good. Let me know how you guys have been doing. Hopefully you guys are having a lot of fun with the game. Um, like I said, I've been kind of just MIA here and there, but I am still playing uh, at least a couple of times during the week. Um, just, you know, getting my usual gems, playing here and there. Nothing like, you know 
super dedicated or I, I, I got to put an effort into this. It's just been more of like, yeah, I'm just going to sit back, relax for a little bit um, and see what what comes my way. Like I said, I haven't really been too drawn into my sub really yet lately. Uh, I just feel like, you know, in my opinion, the anniversary, even though it's pretty good, uh, it, it's it's lackluster. The events are the same. Uh, there's there's nothing like a new ship. There's uh, there's nothing like that that really says, oh my god, I, I gotta come back to MSL because I'm missing something out. Um, you know, I feel like Smart Study really could have had uh, a much better outtake on what they did. Like maybe something like on the actual date of the anniversary, do something a little bit different. Uh, but they didn't do anything new or, or you know exciting. Um, they did release uh, the September patch notes for the next update. If you guys are wondering, uh, there is going to be a skin for the Chris the baby baby dragon. What's it called? Crystal dragon. Um, and uh, it, it does look really nice. So I'm sure I'm sure there's going to be one for free. So if you've been saving your Mystic Essence, you can use it on some of that. Um, there is the Wood Garuda Soulstone Dungeon coming up soon. Uh, there is going to be a new feature called Supreme Clan Dungeon, which uh, I believe it's the same as the like Starstone Dungeon. It's just going to have a uh, different Astromon, like four star Astromon, like it says. Uh, there's the clan buffs, which in my opinion we have <laughs> been desperately needing an update. I think it was like 5,000 coins for like a four hour buff and uh, it, it was not, not very good. Um, these new ones, I assume, you know, they're just going to be more costly. So it's still not going to make me feel any better about spending coins or clan coins on getting those buffs for the clan. Um, but yeah, uh, they did add this new buff skill guide. So uh, essentially you can just see which Astromon have a certain skill. So it, it'll be, it's, it's health, helpful for those that need to figure out, you know, uh, what Astromon to put in their lineup, etc. So, um, you know, but aside from that, you know, you could easily find that same information on Discord, uh, and you know, a long, long time ago. And I, like I said, if you go to Elio's Discord or my Discord, you'll have Elio's bot on there. Um, I, I don't remember who exactly created that bot, but you can see which skills Astromon has. You know, they just basically turned it and made it into the game. Uh, this right here, this is a new Nat Five that's going to be available through a new capture event. Um, if you read that here, it says new five star astronaut will be added. It can be obtained through the new capture festival, which is currently under development. As soon as you launch Monster Soup League, you'll see he is actually in the center of the screen on the page. He's got like a, almost like a red, white and uh, black. He's got black hair, like a white, a red and black, white robe. Um, so you guys can check him out basically as soon as you open up the, the um, app. Uh, it should show up there in the background. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's definitely some new changes coming in. Like I said, there's definitely uh, quite a bit of um, updates in the last couple like month or, or couple weeks or so. Um, but like I said, in my opinion, nothing really like amazing. Like, oh my god, I could come back for it. So as you guys can see, I haven't even done any of the new island. Um, it just, I figured I would just save it, you know, for when I really feel like, all right, I'm gonna go check out and see what this is about. Um, to me, like I said, I'm not in any rush to do any of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, uh, do them later. Um, plus, I don't know if you guys said, saw, like I said, they added these Astromons too to the summon pool, which kind of dilutes the pool even more. There's just so many Astromon. Uh, I mean, none of the other continents, uh, you know, like for example, Aurora Plateau, like, you know, it has the same Astromons you can summon during uh, the, um, the regular pool of Astromons. And same thing with this one here. Really, the only one you're looking for is the legendary Omega Talos or Talos, I don't know how to say his name, uh, but uh, I feel like they could have added something different, you know, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, but anyways, guys, I feel like I'm going to go off on a rant here, so I may as well go ahead and cut the video here. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed the summons. Hopefully you're all doing very well. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you were, had a pretty good uh, anniversary event. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the double crystal rate. Hopefully you guys saved quite a bit of them. Make sure you guys save your essences, guys, the, for the crystal shop. Um, there will be discounts on the crystal shop uh, in a couple of weeks. And uh, since I have so many crystal um, essences, let's just go ahead and, and purchase this one. See, oh, my astronaut inventory is full. I got to go clear it up. All right, let's go ahead and clear it up. I do want to, we'll end the video here by uh, me just doing one last purchase of that egg. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go back to the, uh, where is it? It's under the, um... Am I in the wrong tab? That's right. I think they moved the shop now. I think it's over. Uh, where is it here? Where is the crystal shop? You can probably only access it from here. 
I don't remember how to access it, but let's go ahead and purchase this one here and then we'll call it a video. Let's see what we get. It's a regular four star. So that's why you don't want to spend that many uh, essence or uh, crystals. What is it called? Uh, crystals on that. So yeah. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you all are doing well. I'll catch you all on the next video. Take it easy, guys. Peace.